Hi, my name's Mike Grayson. The last book that I published is called Oliver Owl's Character Tales. Uh, the otter learns uh, about responsibility. Uh, it's about a uh, an otter, river otter, that uh, has been asked by his parents to to uh, look after his sister. Uh, they've given him some responsibility and uh, throughout the day he does that, but what happens is he loses sight of her and he learns very carefully, very quickly, uh, what responsibility is and what obedience is. And sometimes he does that, does that in a very, uh, in such a way that he's learning a lesson, a valuable lesson. And that's the reason why I wanted to write these books specifically, was to make sure that um, kids could learn, and they always love to learn about animals. And I thought what I would do would be create a book uh, for children to learn the uh, character traits that we learned through, uh, through experiences. Um, I had personally uh, had my kids reading books when they were younger and when uh, I looked at the books, I, just, I reviewed the books, I didn't think that they were actually learning uh, character uh, traits, character traits that they could use in their life. Things like responsibility, obedience, etc. So I got the idea to write these books through those, those other books and created characters and then built a story around um, that particular character and that particular animal. So I continue to do that and I've written two of them, but the one that we're specifically looking at is the otter and the responsibility. So I create a situation where we continue to uh, just have a, have a lot of fun. I think uh, that's where I, I get my creativity as well, is, is uh, just being very positive, uh, trying to be excited about things that I do, uh, things like that. And develop a story that would, would uh, catch a child's interest, that would keep them interested in the book, in the character trait, and in what they were doing. So that's where I came up with the idea, and then I tested them out on my children. I wrote the first story, and then I asked them to read the story. I wanted to see if it would catch their interest. And once it caught their interest, I thought, okay, this is the type of thing that little kids like. They like a little bit of intrigue, they like a little bit of excitement, they like a little bit of action. And those are the types of things that I've liked in books. That's the thing that, that keeps my attention when I'm reading a book. If it gets very dull and boring, then I'll put the book down. But if it keeps me interested, keeps me excited, keeps me keeps the intrigue going, then I'll, I won't put it down. I'll continue to come back and read the book. So those are the types of things that cause me to want to write books for children because I wanted to make sure that they learned very good character traits that they could apply to their lives. Uh, not just when they were young, but if they could hold on to those character traits, they could actually uh, use those traits when they were older, uh, when they grew up as well. And then it helps grandparents, parents to also uh, teach those character traits to their children. I'm gonna read a part of the part where, where um, Otis and Oswald lose track of Olivia and they get very, uh, very concerned about what's going on. Um, Otis was in the river on one of his dives while Oswald was 20 feet upstream watching where Otis was searching. Otis came up to the surface for air and to switch with Oswald. As was Otis' habit, he looked in the direction he had left last seen Olivia. He couldn't see her and thought she was behind the tree next to the meadow. Where's Olivia? asked Otis. Oswald turned to point to where the, their treasures were and said, over the... Oswald's heart started to pound hard. They rather, he had lost sight of her and this meant he could be in big trouble.